بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay now in this video we'll try to understand the southbound APIs like in the previous we have already discussed the southbound APIs are responsible for communication between the controllers and your networking devices or the end devices uh, whereas the northbound APIs which we have covered in the previous section they are responsible for communication between your applications and the controller now with the help of with the help of southbound APIs what we are going to do is we are going to program the data plane of the networking devices on how they will be forwarding so if you remember in the in the sgn concepts we have seen the actual networking devices will be doing the forwarding the data plane job but whereas the actual control plane is going to be reside on the controller and this controller plane is uh, this sorry, controller is going to decide the actual forwarding of the traffic via the networking devices so that communication process is actually done with the help of southbound apis so let's try to see some of the examples like uh, what are the things it will instruct there are plenty of things like the controller can say okay use this particular route to forward the traffic for for specific destinations or for this application or the controller can actually send a request to the networking devices saying that okay show me the interface status or the device uh, capabilities or or maybe the controller can actually send the instructions like this is the configuration you need to apply on specific devices where it can initiate a cli ssh connection onto the networking devices or change the best route via routing table or changing the security policies or acl quality of service these are all the things includes in that now when we talk about applications like the southbound apis there are different softwares used or different uh, applications used to to communicate between the controller and the networking devices now these applications or the or the apis can be either an open source or the proprietary depending upon which controller you use and what kind of networking devices over there so i'm going to list some of the examples Uh, common common commonly used apis like the commonly used is like ssh and snmp which are already used in network management so so some of the apis like from cisco cisco epic enterprise module this is going to majorly use the ssh and snmp protocol to send an instructions to the networking devices or to get the information from the networking devices apart from that there are other other options like there is something called open flow now this open flow is uh, will be using something called open open flow protocol so this protocol is 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 responsible for communication between the controller and your networking devices which means whatever the networking devices used here they must support an open flow they, they must be able to understand the open flow protocol they must support the open flow open flow protocol in order to talk to the controller so this open flow is something managed by onf onf stands for open networking foundation it is an organization dedicated to provide some open standards and the hdn adoptions okay so you you might be using this again depends upon the vendors or the devices or the controllers what you are using now other option is something like you have offflex offflex is something from cisco uh, it is totally different from the open flow example which i have discussed here so they sound similar but they are different here so this is uh, majorly used in a cisco environment so if you are using uh, majorly a cisco based network environment you will be using this offflex offflex api again commonly used in the data center uh, environments with aci okay so this is more in a cisco environment okay so it 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 again relies on traditional uh, distributed control plane mechanism in order to push the commands to the networking devices and again here also whatever the devices they must be uh, able to support this offflex uh, protocol or they they must be able to understand and support the offflex protocol on the networking devices so that they can talk to the controller 
Now, again, if you are using uh, something called software defined access from Cisco for managing the Cisco uh, major uh, LAN infrastructure or the network infrastructure with Cisco SDA option, you will be using again SSH with a command line and SNMP protocol to gather the information or to push some specific commands. Additionally, you will be using something called NetConf. NetConf stands for Network Configuration Protocol. So I'll quickly give an, a brief overview on this. So Net, NetConf stands for, as I said, Network Configuration Protocol. It is an IETF standard. So defined in this specific RFCs. And this NetConf protocol is responsible for communication between the networking devices. So specifically, it is responsible for installing the installing the uh, installing the configurations we can say or modifying the configurations or requesting some information from the networking devices or deleting the information or the configuration onto the networking devices so probably you can uh, summarize like maybe you want to collect the status of those devices or maybe you want to make any changes to the configurations existing configurations or you can you can also say like you want to take up the backup backup or maybe you want to do restore some specific configurations or maybe you want to run some kind of test test your configurations before you exactly save so so in short whatever the configurations you do remotely via command line you can initiate them with the help of netconf protocol from sdn controllers apart from that we have something called restconf now again, RESTConf is same like NetConf. And again, it is used for uh, programmability and data manipulation. Now, now basically the goal of the RESTConf is to provide you something called REST, RESTful API experience. Now RESTful API is nothing but, uh, if you're using REST APIs, probably I'll be talking about that in the next sections. So it is going to provide you something called REST API experience. So it still uses the NetConf for data abstraction as well as for data manipulations. And most likely the data format will be in either XML or JSON formats. JSON is kind of JavaScript format. Okay. So it is mainly used uh, for defining some data storage concepts a little bit. So these are some of the examples of the Southbound APIs. Now, typically you might be running any one of this. So as this is like a common topic, not specific to Cisco. So you may see any one of these APIs or maybe multiple APIs used in different vendor environments.